Honourable Member for Windsor West. With great sadness that we all learned of the passing of a tremendous parliamentarian Canadian last week, the Right Honourable Herb Gray. It's been my great honour to represent the same seat that he held here for nearly 40 years. During his time here, my region enjoyed the great privilege of being represented in this place by a man of dignity, character and depth. Mr. Gray was one of a kind who served with a specific flair that could be described as understated but nevertheless commanded respect. The uniqueness of his career manifested concretely in many ways. He was the first Jewish cabinet minister in Canadian history. His nearly 40 years of service in the federal legislature makes him one of the longest serving MPs ever. He is among only a handful of Canadians who did not serve as Prime Minister to be afforded the honorific of Right Honourable. What is truly remarkable about his career is that he had the unquestioned respect of his colleagues across the party lines. As a parliamentarian, one of Mr. Gray's most defining attributes was his insistence on to put his community in the centre of his work. Whether it was on the auto file, a critical industry in Windsor, or development of our waterfront, Mr. Gray was there all the time. Even after he chose electoral politics, he continued to remain engaged in a significant issues impacting the region working to do protect the Great Lakes and the chair of the International Joint Commission. Mr. Gray was a great intellect with an incredible and distinctive ability to engage his colleagues in the House. His performance and question period are legendary and affectionately earned him the nickname the Gray Fog, a homage to his ability to reframe and rebuke opposition remarks and questions. I think he may be credited with inventing the term, I reject the premise of the member's question, <laughs> a line that we continue to hear in this place on a regular basis. In Windsor, the Gray legacy will live on for generations we are already taking specific steps to tangibly commend his legacy with public art and infrastructure bearing his name, but his impact can be felt by more personal level when we consider the number of citizens he impacted the community. Whether it was inspiring the people of his constituents, his assistance he leaves behind an indelible mark to the social fabric of my community, and with that I want to thank them for all the staff and volunteers for their services. To the family, his wife Sharon and children Jonathan and Elizabeth, along with the member for Windsor to come see New Democrats, and on behalf of this entire house, I want to offer my sincerest condolences and thank you for sharing Mr. Gray with us. I want, I, I, as well to friends and extended family, to the Right Honourable Herb Gray, I want to thank you for supporting his tremendous service to the community and we share, we, that we share and the community we love. Obviously, I'm very nervous doing this. It's out of the genuine respect for a man that our community loved and misses.